I'm Stephen Facey. I was born in Manchester, the district of Grove Place. My father, he used to do horticultural. And my, my mom was a, a dressmaker. For me in Jamaica, it was, um, I could say, not very good. My father died when I was eight and a half years old. Then I has, um, I was the biggest boy at that time, so I had to be like the head of the, <laughs> the family at that time. So I started to do farming at an early age. The first house, what I work on on my own, was my mom's house. My mom got a guy to work to build her house, and the guy built it halfway and took the money and he left. So and when I leave this guy, I decide now that I'm going to work on that house. I'm not going back to work until I finish it. So that's what I did. After that, I went to work with a, a company um, named Tony and Godfrey in Jamaica, Manchester. So the, fir the, first, uh, the first day I went to work, uh, I never ever understand the work that much. But what I do, I, I sit there the other day and watch those guys, what they were doing. So the guy said to me, okay, you can come back in two weeks time. So the two, when I go the two weeks, two weeks time, he hired me. And when I start to work, I become the foreman on the job. <laughs> I used to do a carpenter. I do, used to do masonry and I used to do tiling. I build house, I build gas station, I build hotel, and I do telephone exchange. Now, when I come to Canada, it was, it, um, the job over here was easy because um, in Jamaica, whenever you tell a guy you is a carpenter, right? You also can do a complete house because you have to do the framing, you have to do the doors, the windows, the finishing and everything. Sometimes you have to build the furniture for it. England was, was just um, taking lots of immigrants. So most of, most of Jamaicans went to England at that time. Everybody looking a better life. My sister first, she went to the state. Then she got married and she come to live in Canada. Then um, her husband was a carpenter. So he came to Jamaica and he saw the, the house that I built in Jamaica and he said, I would like to, to join me in Canada. I came to Canada 1981, um, April 24th. There was a lot of work. I, I go on lots of job, job sites to look work, but I couldn't get any, any work because I never have any landing status. When I get my landing status, I went to Manpower looking for a job. So this, the first, the first job I um, was on the board, it was for carpentry. So I went with the guy, he was paying me, paying me $5 an hour. The work what I used to do, um, we call it roughing in. The rough carpenter framed the house, but we is the one who has, I'm the one who has to finish it for the inspector to pass the house. Then I has to make all the kitchen box and the windows and, every, and install the windows and everything inside the house. I supposed to be the last carpenter work inside the house before the drywall, because um, I'm the one who has to get the house passed. Safety, um, it improved a lot. When I started out, um, you have guys could go outside and without hat or anything like that. The only the one thing they never go is without a safety boot. But you go, you see guys go outside without hat or anything, work without hat or anything. They never used to strap themselves on to a roof or anything. But now, to when at the time, to the time when I live, um, you have the safety, the safety guy come right around all the while, so it was much safety. I have an accident, in, um, 19, I think is 87. Yeah, I, I cut off this finger here. I was doing the, the bay window. The bay window, first time you never have to frame underneath the, the bottom, like underneath the floor, it, you also cut it on a slant, right? So, um, I do the bay window, so I was doing the, the trim on it, the bay window. So I had to cut the plywood on the side, slant. So just as I was cutting it on the slant, it just shifts, 
and the skills out, take the finger. <laughs> it was on a Saturday, I went to the hospital on a Saturday, and at least it got like this, right? So I said to the surgeon, um, don't worry, cut it up here. I said, take it off in the giant. So that's what he did. I recovered the same day, to be honest. <laughs> because um, I, I remember, me alone was at home. Um, when I leave work, I come home, I wash up my dishes with my finger just the same. <laughs> I come back, um, I think I was doing gardening outside and I had to build a wall out there and I built a wall this, this, the following day. And I went back to work the, the Monday. The doctor was the one who encouraged me to work, go, go back to work. Because it's a workman compensation not gonna want to pay me. Because see, workman, workman compensation is a, a tricky thing. If you work if you working with a company and the company paying your workman compensation, you can stay off workman compensation as long as you want. Right? Because that's that's the company who work in money, paying you. Right? But I was the one who paid because it's my, um, it was my company, so <laughs> I, I, was, I was the one who paid the workman compensation and they never wanted to pay me back my own money. 